It's here, dude. Yo, what happened to the, um... Well, well, you know, an opportunity presented itself, so I decided to jump on it. Okay, I mean, hey, I'm not hating it. It's a sick ass truck. Uh, yeah, dude. Are you ready to take this project on? Yeah, is it full wrap and that? Yep. Picking up another truck today. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here at Limeridge Automotive and in Pennsylvania. We're chilling here again in short sleeve shirts and it feels so good. I know that I was like extremely hyped in the last video where I was talking about the fact that it's finally warm. For those of you guys that are in warm states all year round, I am very much jealous of you and I'm finally experiencing that euphoria and that energy that comes with the vitamin D from my main man right there behind us. So this morning we are out ripping around in the Corvette. What an awesome way to start the day. The target top has been off of this thing for the last three days days unfortunately it's going to cool down a little bit more and get more like march like here in pennsylvania but it has just been glorious walking past this thing for months on and was killing me over the winter time and finally it's warming up and i can truly say that i'm just beginning to get acclimated with the ridiculous amount of power and torque that this car makes with that rpm stage four package this car is ridiculous <laughs> The R888s in the rear are an absolute essential when you're making 810 wheel horsepower on corn fuel and 770 horsepower through the eight speed transmission on 93. This thing does what? Sits you back in your mother It rips. Like I'm telling you guys, it gets to uncomfortably fast speeds so fast. Effortlessly at that. It's it is like, it's like, all right, we're gonna put a lot of, no, it's you touch the gas and you're like, Whoa! Race for Motorsports absolutely crushed it on this car, which is why I brought it to them to get that stage four package. I may or may not have emailed them inquiring on some additional power adders that might get us closer to a thousand wheel horsepower, but that's going to be for later in the year as I really do want to enjoy this car for what it is right now. 810 at the wheels in the quarter mile should dip us in the low tens. I can only imagine this car with 200 more horsepower. I don't want to. I can only imagine. Let's not imagine. Let's take this back down to Delaware. Well, it works out well because Race for Motorsports right now is so busy that they're booked right. out nearly six months. So Rightfully the earliest so. appointment, dude, June. Rightfully so. Do you see what they produced there? Just look at it. The oh car. my gosh, the just car. look at it. So yes, guys, Jake and I are over here at Lime Ridge, and it's because we are picking up a new truck. In the last video, you guys probably listened to me rant and rave about the fact that there's two trucks that came available that were basically in my crosshairs. I said, I guess we'll see what's meant to be if one sells before the other. And lo and behold, one sold and it kind of leaves us with one this option. one right here. Guys, I'm really excited about this because Hyundai! <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, you know, my 450 got repoed, so I decided to pull the trigger and our new truck, ladies and gentlemen, just so happens to be right behind door number one. 
But real quick, guys, I just gotta let you know, this is your last shot to grab your 10 times entries for our good friend, Delmonico. We're picking this thing up today and taking it back up to the shop. Sam's been kind enough to let this girl chill down here for the last few days, just to kind of keep her somewhat out of the elements. But now that it's getting super nice and that you might be coming to pick it up, we're gonna be bringing it back up to our shop or the homestead, one or the other, for the temporary time that we have it back in our possession. Genuinely, this is your last shot as this giveaway ends March 14th AKA when this video went live at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 10 times entries, boys. Choice is yours. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are standing right here next to the ying to my 450s yang. possesses your F450, what is the logical thing to do? Get another one! Go out and grab yourself another one. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the new ride that we are gonna have here on the channel, and it is going to be arguably one of the sickest truck builds we've ever done. We are bringing the wrap style back for this 2020 F450. This thing right here is practically brand new spanking new and it has a pretty cool story. I love sharing stories with you guys about the trucks that we bring onto the channel because I really feel like the sentimental value invested into builds, although materialistic items, they still carry stories. And I feel like that's one huge descriptor of being an enthusiast, right? You get somewhat attached to these things. Now this one's pretty cool. This happens to actually be one of what was going to be Sam's personal truck. So he picked this thing up. It's only got like 2000 miles on it. Not even, it's like 12, I think. It's only got like 1,200 miles on it. <laughs> and he was gonna use this to tow around his Raptor, his fifth wheel, what he brings his family all across the country in. 1,400 miles. So he picked it up, but he was actually truly in the market for a silver one. Being that his motorhome is actually black, silver, and gray. So he was looking around, looking around, looking around. It's really hard to find trucks right now, especially when you're very specific in what you're looking for because of the coronavirus, the pandemic, supply, demand, economics, all those things that we learned in school that we don't really use all that much in daily basis. Well, in the truck market, it actually applies. So he found this truck, it was a really good deal and he nabbed it, but then like two days later, he was online looking around and he found exactly what he was looking for. And it's an absolutely beautiful truck. It's also a 2020 Platinum, but it's already got a lot of really nice mods. Ended up negotiating a really good deal with the guy and pulling the trigger on that. This one became available. And that's what I was talking about in my last vlog, where the fact that an opportunity presented itself that I truthfully cannot pass up genuinely because I love this 2020 F450 Platinum so much guys i'm still dirty max jack there's gonna be no changes to power stroke jack my brand enthusiast is a true descriptor of my enjoyment that comes from these vehicles and this one is the perfect foundation for what we're going to be doing i really don't want to spoil or give away too many details about the truck because i want you guys to get as excited as i am about it but yes this one will be getting wrapped and that's what i was just talking to brody from accelerate auto tint who does all of our tinning he is going to be wrapping this truck on our behalf i threw up an instagram story ah, probably about two and a half weeks ago now on my instagram at dirty max if you guys don't follow me and I had gotten swarmed with direct messages begging for another rap truck and I listen to you guys. I try to factor in your contributions and suggestions into our builds as much as possible. And this one is a result of you guys. Now it's the perfect platform because it's literally brandy spanking new. It came out of Florida. It's perfect in every way, shape and form. Black on black on black. It's got the bed liner, gooseneck package. It's got leather interior, some gray accents. It's got the black kind of like wood look on the sides of the doors. It's got everything guys. This thing's fully loaded. It is literally the ying to my white yang's f450s cousin twin brother friend foe whatever it is that you guys want to call it it is this truck right here so now we have a 2020 black platinum and a 2020 white platinum and they're going to take on two completely different build styles which is going to be super cool to watch them happen literally side by side because we're anticipating delivery of all the white f450 parts very very soon so i'm thinking this kind of like repo theme needs to really play into the naming convention of these trucks my white one is formally referred to now as convict because of the fact that it got repoed what should we name this one right here is it felon is it is it something else i don't know drop your comments below guys and what you need to do is if you don't have a comment but you really want to weigh into the name of this truck you got to go down and vote on your absolute favorite name that way it gets ranked up and i can see it quicker so if you were to have to take a guess right now what color would you guess that we're going to wrap this truck there's literally infinite possibilities but the question 
You're not supposed to give it up, dude. Yeah, sorry. Come on. You guys didn't hear anything that Jake just said. Did you know in the last video I called you Dirty Max Jake and I literally laughed out loud at myself? Uh -uh. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but seriously, there are infinite possibilities. What is the color that we are going to put on this truck? Only time will tell, my friends. It literally smells just as new as it looks. My goodness. Talk about weird deja vu. It's like so similar yet so different. And what's even weirder is the fact that I was literally just in my F450 with the heat on and now I'm in this F450 with the AC on. It's literally entirely too nice outside to keep the AC on. So we turned that off and we did the appropriate thing which was opening up this ridiculously large sunroof. Some people don't like sunroofs. But I actually, I, but I absolutely love them. You might view this as a little bit unnecessary, but I couldn't make this video revealing our new 2020 that's still unnamed that we need to figure out a name for without introducing it to Convict himself. I'm gonna call Convict quite the notorious B.I.D. If you're curious, it's bad influence duly. I mean, it's a good influence now, but Convict is kind of just one of those names he couldn't pass up. So we've got the Ying and the Yang of the Ford Motor Company high hitters right next to each other. Black 2020 Platinum, white 2020 Platinum, Marsala interior, black interior, all other options are the same. It's so cool to see these trucks side by side in the state that they sit right now, hint, hint, which won't be for long, because it truly goes to show you just how much of a difference those 37s on Ridge Grapplers on the 24s made for that truck versus this truck that have a little bit more of an aggressive Toyo 14 ply tire on them. That Toyo is not the same tire that came on my 450 originally, looks very good, won't last for long. Spoiler alert. It looks like we have a window sticker right here, boys and girls. When she was brandy spanking new off of the showroom floor, $88,040 before tax. Base price of $83,190. Additional options, $3,255. Making up of the off-road package. Supplemental heater, engine block heater, power moonroof twin panel, as I love, and the upfitter switches. Oh, can't forget that spray in bed liner. Oh yes, my friends. I cannot believe this day is actually happening. Like this is easily one of the craziest things that I've ever done. We haven't given eight ball holy dark. Wow, why is the camera so dark? Cameras are sweet, but if you're not on top of them, they can totally ruin your entire vlog. We're trying to see if eight ball's gonna even start up. We've ignored him for so long, but we're trying to just insulate his best interest and bring him out in warm weather. If I was him, I would really appreciate what we're trying to do. And hopefully the batteries aren't completely dead. With ease, my friend, with ease. May as well let her run for a little while, let her get some lubricity through those veins. So hey, Sam, thanks for not only letting us store two of our trucks here, but now letting us store three of our trucks here for the time being. We really appreciate it, my man. Oh, boys, we've reached that time in the season where it's my last reminder for you to consider entering for Dream Diesel giveaway number 16. Man, it's crazy, 16 giveaways. I could only have ever dreamt to getting to this monumental number as each one changes. It just gets crazier and crazier as a reality. Well, after we launched Dream Diesel Giveaway number one, I thought it was a dream come true, and man, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I'm so grateful for all you guys. Jake is so grateful for all you guys, and we just freaking appreciate the support tremendously. Ooh, one more time. Jake's about to drive this thing home. Should we give him a final cold start while the giveaway is still live on the blog? Absolutely. Absolutely. Paint match tail lights, paint match bumpers, paint match bumper plastics, hard folding tunnel cover, paint matched everything, rock lights, a 12 inch freaking display, heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, sunroof, tint out the wazoo. What more could you ask for? Isn't it wazoo? Wazoo! Wazoo! And these headlights on this thing just drive me insane. This Delmonica Red, by far one of my favorite colors to ever exist. Selfishly, after owning this truck, if I could, I'd probably actually revoke making it a giveaway because I genuinely just think it's the most gorgeous truck that's ever been on this YouTube channel. And I gotta give a huge shout out again to the friends and family that do what they do and always come through over at Limeridge Automotive. Sam, I just gotta thank you for having such a clean taste in trucks, my friend, because we so see on the same level. So when you do decide to change your mind about a truck color, it's almost like you know that somebody else is really gonna enjoy the reap of that decision. Oh man, Sam's Denali just brings back 
check all the feels, dude. The paint match on this thing from Sean at Peach Bottom. All these black plastics back here. The cowl itself, all the plastics in the bumper, the fog bezels, front valance, mirrors, cab lights, roof, side steps, and everything. Man, this pearl white just looks so good. We've run into a little bit of a debacle, my friends. I've got my Corvette here, which I'm taking home. We've got the new F450 that I would love to bring home, but we've also got Delmonico, which we have to bring home, and there's only two of us, so it seems like we're gonna pick the 800 horsepower chariot and number 16 to bring back to the homestead. We gotta get ourselves as much exposure for the Corvette on the vlog as possible, because it's not every day we have this thing present. Come on right now, this is just so ridiculous. Man, oh man. I love this car more and more each day. I genuinely love exotic cars, and one day I would love to have a McLaren 720S, maybe even a Huracan. It could happen right now, but genuinely, guys, this car is just everything for me. It really was kind of the capstone of the goals that I wanted to accomplish, and I'm so grateful to be able to step into this car all the time, fire it up, hear freedom behind us, and honestly make a ridiculous amount of power, drive the car as much as I possibly want to, and still be able to hold my drinks. There's not a single second that you'll ever see me driving this car without a smile from year to year. And as much as I can love and appreciate how good exotic sound, there's really just not many sounds that can replace this one right here. <laughs> it never gets old! Even this person in front of me is smiling ear to ear. Come on, it's contagious, my friends. What an unbelievably blessed day, to say the least. Picking up a new truck for the channel and getting to enjoy an absolutely amazing car. A true staple to American engineering on a gorgeous 70 degree day without the slightest bit of humidity. And guys, congratulations, we made it. Yet again, to my favorite time of the year. It's no longer daylight savings, so get us another hour of daylight. My friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that thumbs up button and the notification bell. And boys, I cannot wait to see you all in the next upload.